today I have a little bit of a different project for you. It's something I'm super excited about. I grew up in Germany, as you guys know, and my parents in Germany have a original oil painting of my great-grandmother. As you can imagine, they love having it and don't want to give it away. I wanted to have the painting now, and I was thinking of a way to get the painting um, duplicated. I, sh I should say, yeah, duplicated. And I collaborated with um, pictureframes.com who have a beautiful selection of frames and an option to print, print prints, um, anything from your original artwork to photos um, on canvas. I had my um, parents bring the painting to a local photography studio in my hometown and they also I don't know, specialize in photographing artwork for reproduction. Um, you can do this yourself. This part I chose, or I couldn't do myself because my parents don't really know how to light a painting and take a picture of it for a high um, resolution uh, file. Let me show you. So pictureframes.com printed it for me and put it on a canvas. There she is. Um, I picked a beautiful frame, which you can see here, which I only have to plop in there, but what I'm choosing to do is next, to make it look even more real, using a glaze, it's an acrylic glaze and semi-gloss, and various different size brushes right here to um, add the texture to the painting to make it actually look even more like a realistic painting. And I am going to plop the camera upside down so you can watch what I'm doing. But before, if you would ever get something like this done as well, if you're using a glaze, make sure you try it out on a um, corner or on the side or just to make sure it is drying the way you want it to be. Here you can see a test run I did. It looks scary because it looks white, but it should be dry and clear. So I matched the brush to the strokes that you can see here and I did the test run at the bottom here because that also bit it's hidden just to make sure you can see where it's thicker like this this will dry actually um, raised which on original paintings is usually the case that you have this texture of different thicknesses for the paint used as I am going around the painting, I will most likely use a wider brush for the background and a much smaller and finer brush for the features. As you can see, th this is going to be a little bit more tricky. I'm glad I did a test run because I noticed that I didn't like the um, semi-gloss that much i don't even know if you can see it on here there's the texture and it's a little bit too shiny so i ordered some matte too so i have the semi-gloss on the matte and that's almost a little bit too matte so now i'm mixing both of those or and i'm burying it so it's maybe a little bit glossy in some areas and matte in others 